Hello everyone, and welcome to the stream. Had some chopped frame weirdness there, but it seems to be gone now, so... All we can do is hope. Right, we're on the eighth day of Super Luigi Galaxy. We're pretty far in now. I think we can finish it in uh, maybe three more streams. Including this one. The screen always takes forever before it lets you skip it. Not sure why. Just, they really thought I have to make sure you don't throw your Wii mode into the TV. <laughs> Welcome to the stream, everyone. Welcome, Lauren. Welcome, Zeno, Elmo, and Shiny. 96 stars. Very nice number. We're getting there. And I went and found up a bunch of star bits. Give us the lives. That's all we want. There you go. Yeah, so I found up all those star bits so we can go do that uh, Hungry Luma. Yeah. Usually when I load up the game, we have uh, a ton of purple comets ready to go. <laughs> Not this time, though. We can go do this Hungry Luma, though. Oops. Up near the garden. We'll go do that. Yeah, someone in a previous stream pointed out there was a shortcut up to the garden. And it's over here, which I had completely forgotten about. Hey, Luigi. Isn't it weird? They're slightly different heights. Very, like, very slightly different character models. Kind of strange. There. Nice shortcut. Oh, oh, don't fall off. Sixteen hundred. I think this is the last Hungry Luma though. In the uh, hub world, anyways. How many Lumas? <laughs> uh, star bits, sorry. I didn't notice that the cursor actually turned into a little meter filling up. That was kind of cool. Snow cap. Well. Let's go find out what that is. Star bunnies. Oh boy. Chasing bunnies is always a little tough. Oh yeah. I remember this one. I remember being pretty lost in it as well. <laughs> These bunnies are very good hiders. Excuse me. It's strange starting to a level, they want you to make sure you know how to break open things with a, a shell. I guess we're going to need that. Why do they always want to play chase? Yeah, I remember having to retry this one a couple of times until I figured out what to do. Yeah, you can you can actually move the snow with your cursor, which is pretty cool. Anything like that? Oh, start it. Need to activate all these switches for something. I think it's for a fire flower. Yeah, it's a really cool effect moving the snow around like that. Okay, need some more switches. Must be one up here. There we go. Oh, got a shell. Okay, if that's all we want. Oh. <laughs> Not quite all we're after. 
Yeah, these bunnies are very good hiders, yeah. I have to do a lot to find them. Well, there's one. Okay, the others. Where are they? Let's go back for the fire flower and uh, we'll start with melting these other snow peoples. Ah, there's another one. <laughs> Trying to throw us a fireball at the bunny. That's not very nice. Gotcha. Okay, the last one. Where would the last one be? Got plenty of these smaller snow caps. Just checking. Hmm, <laughs> alright, well, I guess we'll start by melting things. Only coins so far. Hmm, not quite sure where this last bunny is. Yeah, this is why I had to redo this one. It's uh, pretty tricky actually. Hmm, that last one. We'll start off by trying to find that last one because we already know where the other two are. It has been too long since I originally played this game. That's why I wanted to stream it quicker, because I now have forgotten how to do some of the stars. It's got great music though. Alright, let's start off with the fire flower. Oh, get over there. Oh, alright. <laughs> Found the last one. Gotcha. Well, that was handy. Just found the bunny by accident. It's, a, it's an interesting um, use of snow. And I don't think the snow is actually slippery either. It's just Luigi. <laughs> Luigi's slippery. Yeah, so it's a fun use of snow, I think. I like it. Alright. Two leaves. There's one bunny. Yeah, sure. Can you hit it with a fireball? No, I've never actually done that. Okay. I'll stop. I assume it'll just stun it, like if you hit it with a star bit. Mmm, star bits. Ah, I love all the snow falling here, that's cool. Ah, uh, where's that shell? Over here, I think. Whee! Bing! And our last bunny. That's a good place to, to chase a bunny because uh, they just go around the outside. You can cut them off very easily. Very hard, just a quick little star, that one. I like it. Oh, it's nice that it puts us right next to the map too, so we can have a look if there's any purple comets. Because we do need quite a few purple stars still. Uh, purple comet stars, rather. It'd be nice if the stars were purple. Yep, look at all those purple ones. <laughs> Alright, I think we'll start the kitchen, which is where the, uh, the beach level is. I've been wanting to do that one for a while, but it kept not popping up whenever I wanted to do it. But now we can go do it. Go do some relaxing purple coin collecting. Yes, I think it's relaxing. I don't think you have a timer for this one. We'll find out though. Oop. Got a little bit stuck. I love the crackling of that um, fireplace. I guess it's an oven, but it just makes me think of a fireplace. I think this is the last star in this area as well. 
Beach Bowl. I forget how many purple coin stars we have left that are like this. This is one of the uh, more open world collector songs. There's one in the deep dark galaxy, I'm pretty sure. I'm not sure what else. Ah, that purple tint makes this place look really strange, actually. <laughs> Independent study. Alright, is there any. Hey, yep. Yeah. No, there are coins over there. Alright, well. Let's start over there. I didn't actually want that, but sure. Go away. off with some tough coins. <laughs> there we go. Oh, there are coins underwater. Jeez. I've misremembered this level. I thought there weren't any. But there are some down there. Well, I'll collect all the obvious ones up here and then we'll go for a swim. I guess that's why they gave us a shell. There's some fun swimming. Hey, buddy. Any advice for us? Well, it, it shows us that purple coin on the pillar over there. <laughs> Guess that's what that's for. What are you doing? You chilling out? Five of them in the Okay, that was very useful. Thank you. Five of them in the ocean. Somehow I went through that tiny little gap. Go for a swim! That fireplace reminded you of the fires in Luigi's Mansion. I've got to play that game again, it's been a while. I really liked that game though. Actually that might be a good stream game, the first Luigi's Mansion. I can't stream the second of course, because that's on the uh, 3DS. I like the second as well, it's a much longer game though. There's another coin. Alright. Oh, I wasn't actually paying attention. Do we still need one more coin from down here? Yep, there it is. Yeah, Luigi's Mansion is a, a nice game. It's, it's I think it's it's um good because it's so short. I feel like the second one was uh, too long, it didn't actually have enough mechanics to last for just how long the game was. It's a good game, don't get me wrong. It just gets a bit exhausting playing it. <laughs> Plenty of coins here. Oh, I'm gonna get these lower ones. There we go. Now we spin! And win. Hey, there's a coin over there. On top of his head. Hey buddy. Just wanna bounce on your head, that's all. Whoa. Not quite what we're after. Thanks. What have you got to say? You're just telling me to listen to other people. <laughs> Not very useful. And those you don't have anything useful to tell us yourself. Everyone stole all the good hints. And of course we need the spring to get some. We'll deal with that later. Yeah, there's some coins up in this tree, which I think you need this. Well, do you need the spring for those? Or can we make that with Luigi himself? Hmm, let's try. Okay, we don't need the spring for this one. Oh! Is that a penguin in the tree? Or am I imagining things? I think it's, is this the level where there's some coins you need to get with the spring that are actually uh, really scary and are uh, over a pit? 
And if you fail, then you have to start the whole thing over? Or am I thinking of a different level? I might be thinking of a different level. Penguin in a tree? Sure? Why not, I suppose? There's no rule saying penguins can't climb, is there? Alright, I think I'll leave those trees until we get the spring power up. It'll be a lot easier. And we'll grab whatever we can before we start springing. <laughs> They really spread the coins out in these kinds of levels. You have to work very hard for each little coin. So look at this one. All that effort for one little coin. Imagine if they made you use the spring for the whole level. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be pretty mean. So I, with a spring, I don't know if the designers knew how unpleasant it is to use. I don't know if that was intentional. I mean, it probably was. This game is pretty great. So. Hey buddy, what do you got to say? Anything useful? Oh, just telling us basic controls. How to play the game. Hmm, how am I going to reach that? Let's try a backflip. Now that one on that pillar is going to be pretty tough to reach, I think. Oh, 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 yay! <laughs> Excellent. There's still 25 coins to go, jeez. And I think most of them are up there. I'll have a little, little look around. There's those up there. Alright, I think it's springtime. I'll get it springtime. Oh, oh, oh. Alright. Let's go become a spring. Getting confused by very simple water controls. That's true that penguins don't have fingers, so I don't know how they climb. They do. Hello. You got anything useful to say? Just small controls. Alright. Spring. Oh jeez, I didn't see that one in that little corner there. Could be annoying to get with the spring. I might want to cancel the spring power up, which I think we can do by going in water. And that tree special has got two. We have to get very well, not super close to the edge, but a little too close to my taste. To the edge of the level. Which I'm, I'm assuming you can just fall right off and die. I'm assuming that's a thing. <laughs> right, does water cancel spring? Yes it does. Sweet. Alright. I'm gonna try and get the heck out of here. Grab the edge Luigi, come on. There we go. So I'm not using the spring to get this one. Yeah, this is death right here. With the spring, anyway. All we'd have to do is accidentally bounce off that wall. <laughs> and suffering. Immense suffering. Oh god. <laughs> Brilliant spring run, that one. Straight in the water. Alright, so we've got one over here, which we can see by the shadow. Alright, now we need to get up there. This would be the easiest way up. From here? Yep, from here. Oh, I can cancel the spring here. That's good. We'll just check what we absolutely need to get with the spring. Even collecting just little coins like that is scary. <laughs> What 
What is this little thing? Is it a shell or something? Yeah, I'm not sure. It's also interesting you can't do a, a, a proper butt slam with the spring. You just kind of bounce up. Alright, looks like I'm going to need the spring to get up there, so I think I'll try and keep it. Try and get these ones first. Which might be a bad idea. We'll see. We'll find out together. Alright. Nine left. We're almost there. Great music in this level. Oh, is that the treat? No? Okay, good. I don't see any coins up in that tree. Is that tree's... Oh god, out over a pit. <laughs> What's that penguin? Can I even talk to you right now? Because I'm bouncing a lot around like crazy. Oh, I look how hard this is to control. <laughs> yeah, I can't even talk to you. Just grab the coin, Luigi. Just thank you. I don't know if we can get up here without the spring, which is why I'm keeping it. And hey, I can't actually look around with the spring, so that's awesome. I'm guessing that tree is where the last ones are. Is that actually out over a pit or not? No? Okay, good. Last coins. Back up there. It is nice being able to jump so high. You have so much momentum with your little box. Cool. And it's in an easy to get spot, thankfully. So we can just go down here, say goodbye to our spring. And swim the rest of the way. Whee! The camera doesn't want it. There we go. Just wanted to turn the camera around. I didn't want to do that though. Got anything to say to me? No? Okay. Don't care about the, the star? Alright. Maybe they don't actually see the, the purple coins. Maybe they don't see stars either. Maybe they just. Maybe they're not actually stars. They're actually just dumb little trinkets and we just think they're stars because we have like I don't know childlike minds full of wonder I don't know <laughs> these are weird theories yeah I'm glad to have that star over with but there's still some very tough stars up ahead not sure if we'll get to them today or in a future stream but... yeah I think that's everything here done Beach bowl, goosely, bubble breeze. Yep, that's all done. Hey, lava dragon. I'm good, thanks. How are you? All right, where do we want to go now? Let's do some hard stuff, I guess. We'll go to the engine room. Probably should go to the garden as well. There's gonna be some hard stars there. Oops. Oh, we finished off the engine. I've completely forgot about that. We've got everything. That's good. Well, let's go to the garden. I wonder what other stars we're missing. Maybe some in the bedroom. Very roundabout path we have to take. <laughs> we could just go all the way back down the bottom and take the big shortcut, but uh, yeah. yeah. Or we could find the flying power up. That's my favourite way to get around the hub world. The flying uh, suit. We got some stuff to do here. Deep Dark Galaxy. Now this is the galaxy that last stream I did a star that I was pretty sure I was doing something wrong. I was uh, doing something unintended. Well, it turns out I totally was. Yeah, I'd, I'd shot a cannon off to land on a platform I wasn't supposed to be able to do. Ah, the 
shark again. Guppy. Yes, yeah, so what you're supposed to do is uh, get the cannon, uh, shoot up to that planet that we always shoot our way up to, and um, get the fire flower. You have to light three torches there, which is what confused me because two of them you light to start off with to just to unlock that door. You have to light all three, then you get an ice uh, ice power up, then you run over to the lake, and I'll show you where you're supposed to go with that. Hey Toad, that mean guppy. They're just cooking up a feast. Hey, I'm trying to talk to my friends here. Oh god. <laughs> I forgot you get, you get stuck in the sand. My roast is toast. <laughs> Very cute. Yeah, there are three torches here you had to light with a fire flower, which would give you an ice flower. Then you go this way. Hey, Magic Cooper. How you doing, buddy? Daddy. I pretended to be nice to you, I don't actually like you. Yeah, and over there there was a, a staircase of fountains you would climb up with the ice flower. And then you'd do a little bit of platforming and then you'd get up to where I skipped ahead to. Yeah, we did a, bit, a little bit of a sequence breaking. <laughs> Gonna run Guppy out of here. Why? What's he what's he doing to you? He's I don't even see him right now. Oh right, okay, so we'll go talk to Guppy. You've been watching me since the first DMC series. Oh, nice. I'm glad you like those videos. Yeah, it's been so long since I did those first ones. It was a little scary going this far down in water. They usually have, yeah, there we go. Nice, easy spot to get air. Take care of that first. This air is, uh, well, it's a little bit important. Just a little bit. Don't want to go near those mines. <laughs> hey, Guppy, what's up? What's wrong? What's up? Why are we kicking him out of this lake? I haven't seen him do anything wrong here. Like we we kicked him out of the sea slide, and now he's here, and now we're kicking him out of here. Like, where's he supposed to live? <laughs> Surprisingly good natured about it though, just oh I don't know, swim through these wings and then I'll move I guess. Sure. Ooh, chill. I'll take that. Hey boobies, I forgot you're even in this game. Please don't take offense. Don't leave me alone. Oh that's a uh interesting little formation. Where's the next there it is. Do you care about all that? I assume that was a speed ring, but I don't exactly. I don't think I need speed. I think that would just throw me off. I love how these give you oxygen, so you don't actually have to worry. Oh jeez. You're. Uh, you want me to do something a bit tricky here? Oh. Oh, right, that actually wasn't that bad. One way to get rid of the shell, I guess. <laughs> I kind of wanted it though, because it swims faster. Oh, well. I, I don't actually want you to leave. Okay. Sorry. I feel bad. <laughs> I wasn't doing anything wrong. Close to the big 100. Oh my god. Oh, that's. I find this to be the hardest star in the game, for me personally. I mean. I've got to do it sometime, I guess. Well, try it a few times. I find this level stressful as heck. 
So it's the first star in Melty Bolton. Daredevil. It's a very long star, and you only have one health. You have to do the whole thing. But don't be surprised if I die a bunch here. Now yeah, remember this is the one where uh, this whole spire you get to right at the end and then it starts sinking. Oh god. Nightmares. 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 And these enemies are everywhere and they're so annoying to deal with. How much can I ignore them? That's the question. I think I can just ignore these ones. There's some later on we're definitely going to have to kill though. There's all this just random lava just shooting everywhere. Oh god. One hit. One hit is all it takes. I'm kind of speeding. Oh god. Jeez, I didn't realise that would shoot again so quickly. <laughs> There's some more little geysers. It's all about learning where all this stuff is. And where you need to slow down. Yeah, we go this way, don't we? Into the top of the volcano. And we get a cool little explosion. Oop, we've got some nice star bits. Alright. We're maybe a third through? If that. Ah, oh, then we got this section with these uh, horrifying fireballs. Yeah. Gotta time these movements correctly or you will die. I'm just gonna wait. Over we go. And not gonna wait. I'm not gonna risk it. There. Well, that's not too bad if you just take it slowly and like if you know that there's fireballs going between those. Which if you've done this level enough you'll remember. Yeah, isn't that gorgeous? That's, that looks fantastic. Just the art direction in this game is amazing. And yeah, now we have to deal with a lot of these bloody enemies. We can very easily end our run. Yeah, now we have to click these little yellow pieces without dying. Boom. Welcome, Kaizen. Maybe? Haven't played Gradius 4. And boop. Alright, well, I might as well kill you too since I've uh, upset you. Okay. I didn't trust those things at all. <laughs> okay. That's three. Uh, one there and one over there. And there's tons of these enemies. Okay. One at a time. Come on. You, you want to attack me? I know you want to. I've never actually jumped on one of them before. That was kind of fun. Two. <laughs> I don't like this. I'll kill that one. And we'll just try and... Uh... Whoa, that was close. Good. You, you, you stay there, buddy. We don't want to deal with you. We don't want to talk to you. We don't want to see you. We don't want anything to do with you. Are we up to the lava spire yet? Yes, we are. Oh god, that's right, we have to do this terrifying part first. <laughs> Platform is falling sideways. Not something you get a lot of practice at in this game. Platforms moving sideways like that. Now, this just wasn't stressful enough. <laughs> oh, yeah, if we die here, we have to do the whole thing again. We don't get to start from here. It's a daredevil one. You gotta do the whole thing. Excuse me. I don't want. I don't want to deal with you. Yep. Oh, 
Oh god, I was stuck on something. And uh, then you have to jump off of that. Which if you don't remember that you have to jump off of that, then uh, you're dead. <laughs> you can kind of guess though as it's falling down. Keep moving. Remember, yeah, there's some of these enemies in some tricky spots coming up. Make sure we don't run into one of them. Yeah, this one in particular. And now we have to grab the star. Oof, we did it! Not gonna lie. My hands are shaking. <laughs> that star is terrifying. When I first played this game, I had I remember trying that style tons of times before I got it. Hey, well, that's a good start to get for a big 100. Thank you. Yeah, it's a good start for 100. Hmm. All right, is there an easy one we can chill out with? Actually, I don't think any of these will be easy, but I uh, know. Oh, just just pick one. It's a secret one. I don't actually know what that one is. I don't remember. I'll have to look that one up. Dreadnought. Let's do Dreadnought. Dreadnought's a cool level. It was like a big ship I would build out of Lego when I was a kid. Avenger the Top Man. Tried. Hmm, this one's uh, quite familiar, <laughs> from the looks of it. Well, there's some stuff down here, we're going to look at this. Oh, there's a pipe. Oh shit, I know what this is. Uh, hey, it's the trash thing again. Oh god. <laughs> Alright. Let's do it, I guess. Uh, Alright. <laughs> hmm, alright. So, we have to hit the little yellow spots. This is gonna take a number of tries, if you haven't guessed. And I don't think that one's gonna do the job. I'm gonna go for that farthest one first. And... Oh, hey, throw. Okay, that wasn't the right angle. You didn't want to throw it. Yeah, so that first one, it was... It needed to go far enough to blow up those two. And it would have had just enough time. Oh, that was close, actually. Oh, okay, I don't die every time. That's good. <laughs> I could just re retry it. I'm glad. Alright, so we're gonna try and hit that top left one. Okay, that might do the job. We'll find out. Uh, I, well, that was not right. Oh well. Well, that still wasn't far enough. Jeez, you have to be pretty precise with these throws. Yeah, you see why I hate these stars. <laughs> Man, look at all the little ones we missed. They went very poorly compared to our earlier one. Isn't it weird that robot puts the trash in the exact same spots every time? Okay, well maybe I shouldn't go for that top left one first. Maybe I should go for... oh, I, I meant to throw that sideways. Oh well. Yeah, so I think I should go for that one from the far left bomb, if that makes sense. Yeah, you really need to land on those little yellow spots. You gotta do it faster. You gotta smack you in the face. It 
wish you could start moving early. <laughs> Alright, so I want to try and hit that spot. And then hit that spot. And I don't think that's actually going to hit that one, but oh well. We'll see how we go. Yeah, that didn't blow up those spots. Unfortunately. Oh. Well, there's some slowdown and it actually didn't... it ate my jump input. <laughs> I haven't had that happen before in this game. Oh man. Close. No, no, you gotta do it faster. Yeah, this star sucks. Would be nice to get it out of the way though. Okay. You know, I'm gonna aim for this top thing first. Ah, oh, that was dreadful. I move it. I can't drop it. Well. <laughs> Let me just restart. Hi. Hey, you. Picture the star bit? No? Okay. Yeah, I really have to figure out exactly where I'm gonna throw every bomb. Each path. It's it's just it's so precise. Need to perfect those uh, top left and top right throws. Oh shit! That that yellow mark is gone. Oh, that sucks. That's really bad. Oops! What am I doing? Going the wrong way. Pick out these middle ones. Hmm. That mark is actually very useful. I don't know if we have enough time. We need both those to explode. Yeah. Oh, so close. If I'd been a little bit... if I hadn't wasted that time... Oh, hey, I didn't know you could do that. <laughs> That's cool. If I hadn't wasted that time after throwing that first bomb, that would have been... Uh, that would have been... that would have worked. You can't take much time lining up each bomb either, because then you, you will run out of time. Oh wow, we had a uh, cool chain reaction there. Do you know you could do that? That's pretty good. Oh man, we missed one. Alright, well is that actually fast enough, if we were being precise? Will this bomb explode in time? Nope! <laughs> oh, it didn't explode! Jeez. The star sucks. Okay, what are we gonna do? Need to be fast and perfect, <laughs> basically. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna explode that one. Yeah, that one didn't explode. Yeah, that one didn't in, in, even explode in time. Oof, this star sucks. Okay, you know what? This is easily my least favourite in the game. Not this whole level, just this this star. Because uh, the other stars in this level are pretty cool. I like them. Try that. See what happens. Yep, that one didn't explode. Damn. Alright, I might need to actually reload the level to get that little marker back so I can see. Hey, no, I was holding up. Luigi! Ah, oh, well, doesn't matter. Oh, that actually. Okay, we don't actually need both of those bombs if I am absolutely perfect. Yeah. Okay, well, I'll focus on the outsides. I have to get that top left bomb perfect. I'm doing something very wrong with it, and I need to figure out what it is. And that didn't go far enough. That's not going to work. Oh well. Practice. Oh, 
very top right. Okay. And then there, yeah, that should. Oh no, that won't reach that, will it? Or will it? Well, it does if I chain reaction them like that. <laughs> oh, that one didn't even explode in time. Alright, so if, if I'd gotten that first bomb right, we would have done it. Yeah, I think getting rid of that marker sucks because uh, I'm having real trouble positioning that bomb correctly. Okay. No, that's not where I wanted to throw it at I was holding the top left. Okay. It takes a little while to lock on to which direction I want to throw it. Oh, and after all that, those bombs, we have that one over there, unexploded. Oh, well. I'll blow you up. I want to blow you up. You suck. I hate you. I loathe you. We're going to get this. I'm going to keep going until we get this. Just keep moving, I hope it works out. And it did not. Hmm. Yeah, I think that, that one's even gonna work. Oh, and we missed that one too. Jeez. Normally I get all those. I'm so glad you don't die when you fail this and have to restart the level. Jeez, this is one of those ones you just have to keep going until it all works. Until you get it all perfect. I'm trying to line it up with the side of this trash pile. Yeah, see I don't think that's going to blow up that one. I thought the positioning might actually be different on the left side than what you need on the right side. Which makes it tough. Okay, well, if I get a chain reaction going here, this might actually work. Oh, it, it still didn't explode! God! That one trash pile in the bag. That one in the bag. That is so hard to hit. It's a, oh, that is so hard to get all three of those. These, those three on the right are fine. I usually get those, but the, these three in the top left. Nah. Alright, we'll see if that works. Mm, I don't know about this. Chain reaction? All oh, the bombs! Throw them all! Hey! Yay! Yeah, that solves all our problems forever. I think that was worth like five stars personally, but yeah. I'll take it and go. You suck, suck, I loathe you. That was kind of fun. Bouncing backwards. Welcome, Joel. Okay. We got uh, what I think was the hardest star out of the way, and we got the most annoying star out of the way. The hardest one being that daredevil. Yeah, that was basically the last boss. <laughs> Wasn't that funny? When I went into that level, I was looking for something relaxing. And then I found the trash pile. People comment. Hmm, do I want to do that one? Yeah, I suppose we'll get it out of the way. This is uh, one of those collect -thons. Which, if I remember correctly, it happens in the little underwater ship area. I remember this one taking quite a while, actually. But it's good to get these out of the way. Yeah. On the ship. Completely skip this, the beginning beach area. We go right in here. Hey, Toad. Any advice? Sure. 
Well, I feel real safe with Toad around, don't you? <laughs> and his light actually does kill the ghost. That's cool. Toad helped. Yeah, there were purple coins here. Oh, I shall get that one first. Pretty sure there's some under the water too. Easy to miss these ones. That's a scarily huge jellyfish. I'm not going to go anywhere near it. In games, anyway. Alright, is that all? I want to. No, you don't want me to look around? Not very nice. Oh. Aha! Very sneaky. Okay. I've, I bet there's so many people who missed those two and just could not find them. Man, really doesn't want me to look around. I just want to see if I got them all. It just let, just, hey! Okay, that's annoying. Alright, I'm just gonna have to hope I got them all in the water because I can't look around. Oh, how did we miss that? There we go. <laughs> Very interesting noise, that one. Right, we'll get everything from up here first. Hmm, I was expecting another ghost to pop out. I guess not, though. Yeah, maybe Guffy could have helped us. Find some coins for us. We even blackmailed him. Hey, you have to leave. Unless you help us find the coins. Thanks, that's real helpful. <laughs> Considering there's no deeding mechanic. Oh, we got a little shadow here. Oops. Ah, very sneaky. Alright, so we got some around there. Aha, there's one hiding up there. Oh yeah, you can even see the shadow for it. Not sure how I missed that. Okay, I think we'll go on the ship now. And then we'll swim around and get some in the water. I'm putting off the swimming. <laughs> can you tell? I don't see a shell around here. Also, from what I remember, you have to do a pretty crazy long jump off the ship to get some of those coins. Oh yeah, there's some coins on the side of the... Yep, yep, there we go. Um... Oh jeez, I've, I've forgotten how the hell you get those. I'll worry about them later. I'm just trying to remember that they're there. Hey buddy, what's up? Okay. He's doing some very important work, obviously. It was very busy. We better not bother him. <laughs> That's real mean that they love putting them on the railings like this. At least you can just jump and grab them and not have to actually walk along the railing. Alright. Oh, that's right, there's uh, these ones which are pretty annoying to get. Yeah, this one in particular, this star has some pretty tricky purple coins to collect. The one on the other side, I don't even remember how I got that. <laughs> oh, missed one. I should have just trusted the jump. It would have taken me where I needed to go. Whoops. That's close. Still got a lot of coins left. I know a lot of them are in the water. Hey buddy? Yep, you have to long jump to grab that. Which is pretty 
pretty mean. Oh, we missed it. <laughs> oh, let's grab some coins in the water. Yeah, this one has some really tricky coins to grab. I'd say it's the hardest of just the purple, just the uh, the more open world purple coin clip ones. Whoa, camera, me oh. camera going in weird uh, directions. That was weird. It was all tilted. Grab this one first. Yeah, this one. Yeah, it's harder than the other ones because it uh, really makes you do some strange jumps and maneuvers to get some of these coins. Well, I've got most of the easy ones now. Grab that one coin, Luigi. There you go. Okay, 13 left. So there's one up there. Oh, oh hey, hello. Sneaky. Yeah, I know that there's some on the other side of the ship. Yeah, you can see them from here. Oh, these ones are hard. Stop moving. Yeah. Stop, hey, stop moving. If it completely stops moving, that's when you can... No? Okay. There we go. Kind of hard figuring out how you actually jump out of the water. Sometimes A will jump and sometimes it doesn't. If you spin, then you already use your spin jump. Hmm. Oh, I'll try and just do a... Yeah, that's easier. Do a wall jump. Right, I think a wall jump will get us high enough to get that one. Or we could jump off the ship, I guess. <laughs> We're already going to have to do that, though, later. Don't dive, Luigi. Oh. oh, there we go. You can long jump. You can wall jump off of some of that, but not the rest. That's a little confusing. Three coins left. Alright, I know where two of them are. There's one last coin. Not gonna let me look around? Nope, okay. We'll just rotate the camera. Hmm, one missing coin. Check in the water. Aha! Just kind of randomly here. Alright, there's last two coins. <laughs> Are gonna be the worst ones. Yeah, I'm really glad that this isn't timed. <laughs> that would suck. Yes, yeah, so there's one right at the top of here. I've forgotten how I usually get it. Why don't we try? Well, that nearly got it. All right. There we go, alright. One left, and that's the one we have to long jump to. Which, failing to grab this one sucks, because then you have to climb all the way back up. Got it! Well, we're gonna have to climb up anyway. Because <laughs> the star appeared on the ship. Oh well. It's the logical place for it to appear, I guess. Oops. Swimming backwards, because I'm looking at chat. Yeah, the, the ones that are timed are, um... I actually kind of like them because they're usually more specific challenges. They're not just, I don't know, here's some coins strewn around randomly. Try and find them all. They're more like, yeah, trying to figure out a path to take. Or trying to grab them all and not die. Stuff like that. That is the time. Maybe we can do a little bit more. I haven't grabbed a lot of stars today, but they've been uh, most of them have been pretty involved and difficult. <laughs> yeah, either involved or difficult or both. So we did get some stuff done. We can keep going for a little bit though. 
Yeah, so I was going to do this Dreadnought one, wasn't I? Revenge of the Top Man Tribe. Let's do that. I'm up for a very uh, normal star after doing all these specific purple coin challenges. And that Daredevil challenge. Alright, not going down there this time, because store flat. Oh hey, come back here. Boing! Nice, so it kind of pulls you into those little star jump pads when you spin. Definitely feels like we've done this before. Probably the last top man level. Aha! This is where I thought that you needed to get three of them. I was getting that star confused with this one. Oops. Oh. <laughs> it's good that they don't actually hurt you, they just uh, kind of knock you for a little bit of a spin. Ah, oh, we only needed two. That's fine. Hi. I still love their transform noise. It's so cute. Alright, this place. Well, let's uh, hit the switch, I guess. Ha! Ah. Isn't it strange that sometimes I have you collect blue pieces and sometimes yellow pieces? And sometimes uh, silver stars. But it's kind of the, it's the same concept. I collect all the things. Alright, this one's floating up in the air, so. Boing! Missed it completely. As I said, depth perception is hard. I guess it, it always shows you what you're going to get from the end of it. Silver star will give you uh, a star when you collect them all. These blue pieces give you pool stars. Oh, we're going to need to slingshot our way over there. The yellow pieces just gives you the um, launch star. Uh, this looks safe. Oh, I see we need to use pool stars. Uh, ooh. That was very close to being hazardous. Hmm, that is. A life, we don't really care about that. And that looks pretty tough to get, too. I don't think I've ever tried to get that life. <laughs> Okay, that wasn't so bad. Just need to do the old slingshot again and release. We float gently into the star. Or launch star, I guess it's not an actual star. This part's pretty cool. Got the little markers on the floor to tell you what the danger zones are. I like it. Hoopa! Give me. Gonna break that open and see what's in there. Oh, I didn't realise the start with the uh, shell would get destroyed by their little lasers. Alright. Go! A, a coin? Are you serious? We broke that open for a coin. <laughs> well, I guess it is health, but still. It seems a little bit lacklustre. Especially considering there's just health right here. Yeah. Feels like there should be like a little stinger after that little tune. I'm not even going to bother with those uh, chests. I don't think there's anything useful in them. And this place looks very familiar. This is where our first boss fight with the leader of the Top Man tribe was. There's a lot more enemies this time, though. We oh, we collected that mushroom, but now there's a vendor we we, we can buy a mushroom from. We don't need to, so. Hmm. Look, a manly grunting. When did a cannonball ever hurt anybody? Yeah, exactly. They're all fluffy and uh, filled with air. Alright. I forget if there's a daredevil version of this fight. Not sure. Oop. Get into the uh, electric. Whoa! There we go. You're coming. 
covered in. Uh... That's right, we have to jump on you, don't we? I know how Mario games work. <laughs> These enemies, uh, they don't really do a good job of hurting you. I guess they're just trying to knock you into the lightning or the boss. Oh, what have you got now? Okay. This boss is he already starts off at like the final stage, so it's pretty much just the same thing over and over. <laughs> oh, I'm disappointing boss fight actually. I didn't really know how to ramp it up. Hmm. Oh. Not much of a boss. Yeah. Huh. You're imagining a kid and going, my children. Now I am too. <laughs> That's great. Right, what else we got to do here? Oh, a daredevil for deep dark. Oh yeah, this is for that boss fight. Um, we'll try this one. I might die to it a few times, but uh, might as well do it. That's a fun boss fight. It's uh, Camilla, I think was her name. Yeah, the one on the ghost ship. Yeah, this is a... a I've definitely died of this one a bunch, but it's not a long Daredevil run, so I don't consider it very hard, but uh, it's certainly not easy. But it is something you can very quickly retry, from what I remember. Hey Boost, you get to continue existing for a while. I don't need to worry about you. Go straight on to the boss. We get to hear this fantastic music again, so that's always a good thing. Just like before, she shoots the red things will become fire, we don't want that. And the green things are shells. I forget how many times we need to hit her. But when she goes up into the uh, the crow's nest, that's when it gets pretty nasty. <laughs> then there's magic coopers everywhere, and oh my god. That's where I'm expecting this to become a little frantic. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> and two Magic Coopers. It's kind of funny that the fight just continues on while I'm trying to climb my way up there. That looks like a miss. I'm gonna kill some of these Magic Coopers. Just gonna run around. Alright, we got him. Now we can worry about the boss. I'm assuming that the shell can hurt you if you run into it without spinning. I'm assuming. I don't think I've ever done that. Oh, you can grab them while, this, while they haven't formed? That's cool. I'll try that. Oh. That's pretty cool. Oh, that's so awesome. Thank you. Damn, this game's so good. Is this going to hit you? Yes. Okay, that wasn't so bad. <laughs> it's a fun fight. I really like that boss. Very cool little mechanic, that one. Where you spin and the shell comes to you. Alright, we'll see what else we can do here. I'm assuming there's a, another place we haven't finished, but uh, while we're here, we might as well do stuff here. We've got two comments there. One of them is purple. I don't remember what the other one is. Hmm. Uh, I don't remember what that what to do for that one. So melty molten, it is. Uh, 
That's right, the uh, the bedroom has the uh, freeze flame galaxy, doesn't it? That one also has a purple coin collectathon. Fiery Dino Piranha. Remember Dino Piranha? First boss? Yeah, well. Looks a little bit familiar. And I'm pretty sure there's a purple coin collectathon for this one too. We've got some collectathons to go. We've done the majority of them. I do like how this level gives you a lot of star bits if you want to go for them. Oh jeez. <laughs> Forgot that there would be lava plumes there. Oh, didn't jump. And yeah, these things sink. Oh, they're just a little bit scary. Ah, a coin. <laughs> we need it already. There's something up in the sky here. What is it? Oh, why not? Oh, I had to jump on that block. Not that we need a one up. We just want a coin at this point. And we got the coin. Now we need nothing except stars. I don't want many things. I just want all the things. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Once again, depth perception. Alright. Uh, oh, got a little bit stuck there. Yeah, and this spot again, but I um, don't think we have to collect little yellow things this time. Do we do this time? Oh, I think we have to kill all the enemies this time. Which is fine with me. Get some revenge on these things. For uh, terrifying me during the Daredevil run. Come over here, buddy. This time it's not nearly as stressful killing these things. Because now it isn't one hit equals death. Yeah, you get away from those steam vents. Oh. A bit close. Well, that's fine. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what we have to do here. I can't see anything else. There we go. A little strange that they reused this little planetoid. Aha! Something new. Oh, that doesn't... Mm. Oh god, okay. See ya! <laughs> Bye! Alright, that tail is very painful, as it turns out. Oh, there's a neat little planetoid. Oh, what the heck's going on here? Oh yes, I remember this. I'm trying to collect all the, the yellow pieces. Can't jump on that one, that'll push us off. You jump on that one though. Yes. It's a uh, very tough exploring all these platforms to try and get all the little yellow pieces. Oh look at that mushroom, I want that mushroom. How would I get it? Alright, one thing at a time, I'll get this yellow, yellow piece. Can I do this? Yes, I can. Beautiful. Mushroom. Give me that. <laughs> There's even a platform waiting for us. Alright, so we have two more pieces to get. There's one. Yeah, maybe just watching out for what's going to push you off a platform. Like right there, we were in a bit of danger. Okay, I want to get on one of these middle platforms that comes around. Yep, that one there. Whew, that was risky. <laughs> and now we have to make it back all the way over there. Alright, well I think that's the thing we can do. Yep. 
Getting a little bit dizzy. Whoa. That started trying to push me off. A pixel must have touched my head. You traded my soul for pogs. Oh, what's that from? I remember I recognise that quote, but I don't remember what it's from. Oh, look at the start is. Love when they're in arranged in nice big patterns like that. Oh! <laughs> Oh, all that trouble I went through to get that mushroom and I don't need it because there's another one right here. <laughs> oh well. So yeah, I don't think they stack, so. Bye. Simpsons, yeah, that's it. That's what it's from. Oof, this time it's on fire. Jeez. Looks dangerous even just in its shell form. Ugh. That scream is just as uh, disturbing. Yeah, so this time its tail alternates between being on fire and uh, being safe to hit. So we need to stay near the tail, but uh, oh, now it's leaving fire trails. And then hit the tail when it's safe. Oop, not there. It alternates pretty quickly. And it leaving a fire, tra fire trail behind is uh, particularly mean. <laughs> it was just starting to catch fire. But we've got more hits to go. Woo! Wow, well it's uh... At least it's off half the time. <laughs> Oh, nearly. Is that the last hit? Yep. Cool. Yeah, killing newborn plant monsters. Charmander. Hmm. It's kind of similar to Charmander. Maybe one more star and then I should probably call it for today. 105. Good number. We're getting there. Did some particularly time consuming ones today, so I'm pretty happy with that. One last star. And a, a speedy comet. Okay, that's what the other one here is. Let's do that one. There, there aren't very many speedy comets. They're the, uh, the speed ones, I think. There's like a million friggin' purple comets, but uh, I can only think of two speedy comets at the moment. Top Man Tribe speed run. Alright. Give that a shot. And we have a lovely red tint on everything. I guess it counts this as being a new star because we couldn't skip the little uh, intro. Oh. Wait, what? Huh. That's new. <laughs> they changed that uh, little intro sequence. Alright, follow me, buddy. Follow me. Come on. I need you up here. Yeah. Grab that coin on our way past. Oh, you really don't want to go in there, do you? Get in there. Off we go. I guess the little click the fun part. Oh, this time it's a red one. I've actually made changes to this level, that's interesting. There's a red one and a green one running around. Just to mi mi uh, mess things up for us. Please stop chasing me, I don't like you. Get a spike on your head. You put spikes on their head, come on. Okay, we need the green one. Come here, greeny. Get out of here, red one. Greeny. 
Oh, I'm on the wrong side here. <laughs> That's the life, we don't want the life. Oh, whoops. Greeny! Sorry, I didn't mean it. I do want to be your friend, come here. Bye! Maybe I'll catch up with you later? See ya! Oh man, doing this part in a speed run sort of... Is that something? Oh hey! I didn't notice that before. That's cool. They're yeah, doing this in a... Whoa jeez! Speedrun context. It encourages you to go fast and do dumb things like that! <laughs> dumb things like... That which have resulted in me taking three hits. <laughs> there goes that mushroom I just got. Oh well. Alright, stop and wait. Don't be dumb. Don't be dumb. And then slingshot. That's right, there's another mushroom up here, isn't there? There's a lot of mushrooms in this level. There's like three. Because there's one right before the boss you can buy. Man, they might have done, might have overdone it with the mushrooms. <laughs> yeah, I'll just go this way. All right. Decided not to shoot that last one. Still don't care what's in those crates, chests, whatever. All right, near the boss now. Just have a million of you in the way. I do like how it's basically a UFO. Hang on. My phone is ringing. Yeah, so we're going back afterwards. We're about to finish up the stream anyway, so... Feels like this timer might be a little bit generous for this particular uh, star. We reached this part with like three minutes left. And we're halfway through the boss, so... Hmm. Kinda weird. There we go. Well, I think I wonder if you can go for the boss at the moment and not actually have to kill the little sidekicks. Maybe. I don't see any reason why not. Jeez, that was a really forgiving speed run. <laughs> they gave us six minutes and we finished with two over two minutes left. That's after some uh, mishaps, shall we call them? <laughs> One oh six. Cool. Yeah, only two minutes, ten seconds to spare. <laughs> that was a uh, pretty funny. Hmm. All right. Well, that's it for today. We've got a uh, purple coin one to do there. I need to look up what that one is. I've forgotten where that is. Uh, we have a purple coin here and another secret one there. And then we've got some stuff which I think is in the bedroom. Welcome, see you go. Unfortunately, we're just uh, finishing up the stream. But uh, thank you everyone for watching. We're nearly done with Mario Galaxy. That's pretty exciting. Ooh, Luigi Galaxy. Hmm. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. See ya!